to go see a makeup artist right now. I'm a little nervous because I have only ever gotten my makeup done twice for me and both experiences I, I didn't like it. But uh, the makeup artist that I'm going to see, she is like, she's amazing. So, fingers crossed, I'm sure um, she's very talented, but I think I'm just traumatized and I think I just need to cool it, but we'll see what goes on. Luck. All right, boo-boos, check it out. Bit, look at that glow. This is the finished product. I think she did pretty good. I mean, I was really nervous to be honest and no reason to be. So the makeup artist, her name is Sierra Jewel. I'll leave her Instagram right over here. Please give her a follow. She's amazing, super talented. Um, and this is more of a basic, uh, more of a natural look for her at least. I mean. Her, her work is crazy. She does cut creases like no other. And every one of her, her makeup looks always has its own little theme. It's the cutest thing. So definitely follow her on Instagram. Check her out. She's really good, guys. And worth every penny. So definitely worth it. Now I'm on my way to the hair appointment. I'm going to see my homeboy, Wasam. He's been my hairdresser for three, almost four years now, and he's amazing. He usually does my hair for most of my photo shoots, unless, unless it was like really impossible to get a hold of him, then I will go elsewhere, just out of being desperate, but he's amazing. So I'll see you guys once I am finished at the hair salon. All right, so I'm finished at the hair salon. So basically what I got done was nothing really different it's just straight as it was before it just has a little bit more movement and you can't really tell in this lighting because it's dark up here but i got more volume at the top but you know what they say the bigger the hair the smaller the waist so i'm on my way home right now i didn't bring my makeup which is not something i usually do i always bring my makeup just in case even though i got my makeup done it's good to have you know some extra lipsticks and maybe a different colored blush for when you change change outfits you change your look right you don't want to look the same every time but everything else is completed for me and yeah pretty much if i need to change my lipstick i could do so i can maybe put some pinkier blush on or whatever whatever it needs to look like a complete look when I choose the office. We are here shooting with the amazing Joseph for Destroy Photography. <laughs> Beautiful umbrella. This is Delina, amazing photographer as well. So we're gonna kill it, right guys? Yeah. Always. Let's get started. Hey models, welcome back to my car. Um, we absolutely killed that photo shoot. It was so great. We had the music going. There was a whole team of people. It was very high energy. It was, it was everything I've ever, ever wanted. Like everything that I love about doing modeling happened. It was just such a great shoot. I can't wait to see the edits. Um, they'll probably be posted on my Instagram before you even see this video but that's the way it goes I should probably keep my hands on the wheel but honestly such a great shoot there was a smoke machine there was beautiful women the music the lights everything about it was just amazing so I can't wait for you guys to see what we have in store. Right now, my body is aching. Like, there's so many positions you have to hold that are actually so painful. But honestly, it's worth it to get that one good money shot. You can take a thousand photos and you'll probably only like, maybe if you're lucky, three and a half of them. 
Yeah, so you kind of have to go with the pain in order to get that pose at the right angle and everything to get that money shot, you know? But it was great. There was like three, four photographers working at the same time. It was amazing. And honestly, I really want to do more of this stuff. I, I love it. If I could make a full-time career out of modeling, I would. It's really hard in my city where I'm from. I mean, it would be a lot easier if I was living somewhere like Miami. But um, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And that's not to say that I won't be doing work in Miami eventually. I just have to get my way up to that level and get some connections over there and, and kill it, you know? Represent for Canadians. Bye models.